the sale we just had and it, was, it went very well thank you very much and be looking out for some new items for the spring I just gave a little preview on my Instagram of the shorts and some fishtail shirts uh, we're gonna do some you know those black swoop neck shirts I like to wear when I go out and stuff I got some nice black swoop neck shirts some fishtail shirts some shorts some sleeveless hoodies all kinds of good things coming for you guys and I owe it all to you because your support. So be looking out for that new stuff, okay? So anyway, probably go ahead and take me some intra pump and some pump and grind and a little bit of arginine. You already know how I gets down, guys. Ain't no secret, man. You already know I got my homeboy Hector. He's holding the camera. I'm about to point on him in just a moment. Y'all be patient. He's gonna have to <laughs> make his appearance in just a moment. Just get myself right. I've been a little busy today, guys. Today, for the first time in a long time, I've actually trained some clients hands-on. I haven't done that in forever. Um, anybody's interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, like, you know, some sessions, I'm going to start doing it in June. Go to my site, BeastModeJonesCoaching.com. If you want to purchase a one-on-one -on -one session with me, I will have the rates and all that. You can, If you're local, you can drive over. If you're far away, you can fly over and get a one-on-one -on -one session with me. You don't have to record unless you want to. I would like to record some of my sessions, but if you strictly want to be private, we can do that as well. All right, so be looking out for that for the people that are interested. Man, really excited about that. That's actually how I got started, personal training. And, you know, of course, did the YouTube thing, and YouTube opened a lot of doors for me. And, you know, when opportunity comes knocking, you open the motherfucking door. Oh, forget, guys. Black and gold. Go get that shit, man. So, guys, we're about to get our minds right. Look like we got the whole gym to ourselves. Don't like anybody's here right now. I think Jerron might come a little later, but other than that, we're going to have the music up pretty loud. We're going to fuck up these weights, man. Turn this music down for a second, guys. Give them a little raw footage. Make them feel like make them feel like they up in here with us, man. You know how we train. Yeah, man. Let them know that ain't no smoking mirrors, man. We really, we really come in here and bring that intensity, man. There you go. Easy money, baby. I want y'all to keep one thing in mind, guys. We're both cutting down, you know, getting trimmed down for the spring. I've been cutting a while, man. I'm like 193 this morning. I started at 215. So that's, damn, how many pounds am I? I can't even think right now, man. 215, <laughs> 205, 185. 20 something. 22 pounds lost. And I'm now starting to feel the effects of my diet. You know what I mean? I'm starting to feel that strength drop a little bit. So keep in mind, we're not training to build. We're not going for maximum weight. We're just trying to keep our muscles active. Live as heavy as we can, but still get quality reps in. And just keep the muscles working, man. If you're not big before you start your cut, you're not going to be big afterwards. This is not the time to ego lift and to try to make your muscles grow. This is the time to maintain your muscles that you have and let the diet and cardio do its job. Okay? You know what? Today we're going to pyramid, get to about four reps, then strip it down to get a fuckload of reps. And I'm just going to try to keep up. <laughs> Here we go. On one plate, every step we're going to go up. All the way down, all the way up. Don't lock the elbows like this, though. All the way down, up, up. There you go. I started at 190, I think. Started at 190? 188. How much weight now again? I woke up at 176. That's not bad, man. So We're trying to bring in them cuts, guys. There you go.
There you go. Easy money. All right, guys, we added the 10. We're gonna go again. See, keep in mind, I told you guys, we're not necessarily trying to get stronger. We're just trying to keep the weight as heavy as we can, get a lot of reps, get those muscles working, man. I love doing pyramids when I'm cutting. It's a good way to get a fuckload of reps, but still squeeze in some heavy sets, you feel me? So the last two sets are gonna be pretty heavy, but before that, we're gonna get a fuckload of reps from hitting this light weight. Take your time, baby, we ain't no rush. Ain't no rush, we are not in Russia, so we ain't rushing, you hear me? <laughs> so when I get lean, I want some thick, dense muscles. I don't be all stringy looking. You get all stringy looking coming to the gym, moving that light ass fucking weight, for 20 fucking reps, keep it heavy. Let the diet and cardio do its job. Pump that shit. There you go. You got it. Woo! Bitch. This shit feels pretty heavy now, man. When I'm bulking or whatever, eating good, this is really nothing. But now, it's starting to feel heavy. I'm gonna go for six to eight. Just one thing I wanna address before I start. Um, you might hear people say, uh, don't bounce it off your chest. Put somebody please explain to me how in the fuck can you bounce 245 off your chest? How you ever grab the bar and let it go and let it hit your chest? It's not gonna bounce back up guys. That's just the muscle reflex. It looks like it's bouncing because of the muscle reflex, but it's not bouncing. Trust me, if, if I drop this motherfucker on my chest, it ain't coming back up. Trust me, okay? It's still being controlled. It may not be controlled like you want me to control it, but trust me, it's controlling. You telling me how to control my fucking set is like you coming to the bedroom telling me how to fuck from the back. No, Chris, <laughs> that's not how you do it, Chris. You should fuck a little slower. No, don't you come to my motherfucking gym, come to my motherfucking title telling me how to control my set. It looks like bouncing, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> How you keep that muscle dense, man? Keep pushing it. Good shit. There you go. Put it back, put it back. Good shit. I don't know why I keep giving up my damn secrets, man. I don't know why I keep saying this. People ain't gonna listen. There's always a big misconception that there is a cutting routine versus uh, a bulking routine. It's still the same shit. You don't change anything. You keep it the same. You want deep, separated, beautiful muscle? Get under 10% body fat. You can't help but get striations. It's impossible not to have striations when you get single digit body fat. Going to the gym, doing super slow negatives, holding the contraction for 20 seconds, going super fucking slow, ain't gonna do shit. But make you exhausted, little motherfucker. All right, homies and homemates. By now, we should already know the drill. Full workout routine that we're doing in this video is written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. Now this is right here, what we just did on the incline barbell bench was pyramid set. We pretty much went up in weight every set. We did about five sets total. And on the very last set, we do a triple drop set. We just pretty much strip the weight. Great way, man, to keep the weight relatively heavy, but also get 
a fuckload of reps in. Really get a good pump. Very hard to get a pump when you're cutting, especially if you've been cutting a while, and especially if you're on low carbs. Hector did the same exact thing, but he used a 45 and 225s at the end, because if he would have did 275, he probably would have only gotten like one or two. So, you know, you want to get about three or four reps, preferably five, but we all can't get our way every day. Sometime it just isn't your day, you know? So did the 45 and two quarters, then drop it down to a 45 and a quarter. Then right here, third set, drop it down to a plate. After that, we decided to go ahead and do hammer strength. This right here is a good way to improve any imbalances you may have. If you don't have this exercise equipment in your gym, you can use um, the dumbbells. Dumbbells is just fine. But let me tell you this, man. When you're tired and you've been cutting, man, or you had a long day, your stabilizers, your mind, just everything is worn out. And you don't really feel like carrying 100 pound, 120 pound dumbbells to the bench, kicking them up. It's very convenient and beneficial to work out at a gym that has hammer strength equipment available to you. So after we did the pressing motions for upper chest, we finished it up with um, upper chest flies using a crossover station. And then we did one pressing motion for lower pecs. Anybody who's been following me a while, comment below. Why do I only do one pressing motion for lower pecs? Comment below. I might even have a prize for you if you get it right. I'm just bullshitting, but still comment below. I'm curious to see how long some of you guys been following. After that, we just did some um, cable crossovers and we're supersetting that with rope press downs. You know, instead of doing the crossovers and then going to the press downs at the end of the workout, why not save time in the gym, keep the heart rate going and superset it. And this right here is the last chest motion. We're doing pec flies. Now, a lot of times I'll do these first, but since I'm noticing I'm losing a little strength, I'm doing them last now, just until I finish cutting and I get back to my normal training style. All right, now I got some raw footage right here. Go ahead and take a seat, take notes, and let me know what you think about this, and then I'll finish with some more commentary. All right, homies and homies, this right here is the fourth and final set of the fly and the overhead extensions. Since this is the last chest motion, I want to finish it off with a nice triple drop set, the same way we did on the incline bench. Now, typically I go for 12 to 15 reps. Like I said, full routine is in the very bottom of the description. But since this is the fourth set and I'm going for a triple drop, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the whole stack, get as many as I can get, maybe six to eight reps, cut some weight, get some more, cut some weight, get some more, and I'm gonna give it to you raw. Got it. Ah. Easy, bro. Ah. Come on. Ah. Okay. Oh, I seem like I'm about to rip off the ball. Man, cut down. Two twenty, two ten. Oh shit. Ow. Two ten. And get some. Ah. 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 The stretch. Ah. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Then cut it down some more. 150. Bang that bitch out. Come on. Fuck! Can you touch it? I can't even touch these motherfuckers. Me, just now I got this. No drop set here, just take it to failure. We're close. Here you go. So, as you see right here, Hector is pretty much doing the exact same thing I did. You know, just with a little lesser weight, but pretty much the exact same thing. Start as heavy as he can go and strip the weight two times, all right? Then, this right here is the final exercise, the final superset of the day. This is reverse grip kickbacks for triceps, and then we're supersetting it with some close grip 
tricep body weight dips. Real good pump at the end of the workout. Go ahead and give it a try, but try at your own risk, baby. Be sure to comment below and let me know what you think about the workout. And be looking out for my shoulder routine coming real soon. I'm probably gonna record that in the next day or so. So be looking out for that. The diet's working, man. I say about maybe April 20th, I'll reach my goal. Just taking my time, still having my cheat meals on the weekend. You know, I gotta have my 30 rolls minimum. I gotta have my margaritas. What y'all think though? Hold up. There you go. 193 pounds. We're going for 185. I'm about to go ahead and go home and eat my last meal. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget, follow my boy Hector. Let me get him in here real quick. Follow his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram. Cool people right here. This is part of this family, guys. This young man is going on places. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Huh. 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 Huh.